Hi, this is Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic, with day 33 of 100 symptoms. Catatonic stupor, aka near unconsciousness. To put it simply, someone with catatonic stupor might look like they're awake, but they don't usually respond to verbal communication. They might adjust their physical posture if touched, but otherwise don't look like they register that others are with them. Stupor can occur for a few reasons, including heavy metal toxicity and extreme shock, such as surviving a major accident. In some forms and phases of intense schizophrenia and psychotic episode, catatonic stupor is a highly noticeable symptom. When someone enters stupor, their sentence falls off. They might have been observed as agitated or hallucinating just prior to seizing up. Their eyes get glassy and they stop noticing what's really there. It's easy to see just how devastating untreated psychosis is and how much it can disable a person. Indeed, they can be rendered virtually insensible and immobile. I know because I was told so that this happened to me a few times when I was in the psych ward, but it's never been suggested to me that it occurred spontaneously when I was with someone, when I was well. On occasion, I might feel what I could call fades in consciousness, that it becomes difficult to perceive people clearly, but I don't think I completely blank out. Such a situation feels related to the subject of my video early in this series on linguistic freeze. An example of a fade in sensibility comes from a therapy session in the last few months. I noticed while discussing a difficult subject that my vision started to flash and it was like I either couldn't see my therapist or couldn't see the room around her. I didn't lose consciousness per se, but I lost consciousness of some things. It became impossible to continue my train of thought. I think of it as partly related to dissociation and interference due to the trauma being discussed and the processing involved in that. Sometimes it seems the brain has a power to pull the mind out of the present experience, whether a person is near unconscious, stunned, or dissociating. The brain has a way of going, nah, uh you're not experiencing this right now. The brain has access to pulling the plug, so to speak. I think stupor actually makes sense in the absolutely strange and authoritarian context of being a patient who was recently hospitalized for psychosis. There is too much to process at that time, and the brain unplugs you a lot. Sometimes a patient will go between being loudly chaotic and being trapped in stupor. Altogether, they experience their reality as violent and out of order. Thanks for watching. Ask questions in the comments below. Please subscribe and share. Thank you. You're listening to Ned Ned Nerve the Schizophrenic. That was day 33 of 100 Symptoms. Bye.